गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू टू ट्रेनिंग हाईवे टनल डेमो आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल आवर एक्सपर्ट निशान देशमुख टू कंटिन्यू दिस डेमो वी कैन स्टार्ट नाउ सर हेलो गाइस आई एम निशान देशमुख एंड आई एम करंटली वर्किंग एज अ स्ट्रक्चरल कंसल्टेंट इन पीडब्ल्यूडी महाराष्ट्र I am also having experience of five years in structural execution. <clears throat> right now, we will uh, have some discussion about uh, our basic, uh, basic, uh, some basic portion of our, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> civil engineering industry. And after that, we will have uh, some chats about our uh, regular. <clears throat> um our, how how we will go with our, our lectures and everything so first of all i would like to give you some uh, you know uh, wait till let me some first of all finish uh, sh start sharing my screen so is my screen visible my, is my screen visible to everyone yes sir it's visible yeah yeah okay thank you uh, so first of all i would like to um, tell you about our basic you know as you have as you know everyone uh, some basic branches of civil engineering and its stream uh, so we will go for it one by one first of all there is structural engineering in which you will uh, learn how to design structures okay how to design every uh, single part of structures after that uh, whether it may be bridges minor bridges major bridges pups culverts etc you will able to design everything after that there is uh, highway engineering in highway engineering you will be able to uh, design the highways intersections layouts etc even you will be able to you know uh, take the surveys and um, show and you will be able to see what is the or you will be able to calculate uh, what will be the next or you will be able to predict the next uh, amount of traffic which will be get uh, you know uh, which will be uh, visible which will be uh, on which will uh, which will affect the road and according to that you will design that road after that there is quality control uh, in quality control you will uh, you will get to know regarding um, the quality and you will become a quality analyst in which uh, whether the, uh, whatever the execution which is done on the site uh, it will be get checked by a quality analyst so this stream is also very much important after that you will get to know something about uh, geotechnical engineering uh, what is geotechnical what the geotechnical engineering means uh, it deals with the study of land soil rock etc so uh, for so as you know geotechnical engineering is also one of the very important branches because once you don't know how to uh, how what will be the behavior of the soil you will not able to you will not be able to you know design the structure according to that after that water resource engineering this is uh, this branch deals with uh, how one can manage the water uh, the manage the resources of water Uh, how one can be able to travel um, to transport the water from one place to another and to you know to uh, to dispose of the waste water uh, uh, etc after that um, there are many branches like um, you will get to know automobile uh, about after uh, after this traffic engineering is there uh we can also call it as highway engineering also and construction management is there which will you will be able to get uh, some details about some basic parts about management where you will be get able to uh, study about the same uh, these are the some branches jaise ki aap structural engineering mein abhi jaoge so what is structural engineering structural engineering deals with structures design of structures theek hai iske hisab se execution engineering one will be able to execute the structures uh, and highways etc uh, as according to that 
सो वी विल हैव सम मैं आपको अभी एक एग्जीक्यूशन uh, जो करते हैं स्ट्रक्चर और हाईवे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू के हिसाब से uh, वो मैं आपको अभी बताऊंगा सो वॉट आर द मशीनरीज ऑफ विच आर बींग यूज एज इन इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज ग्रेटर वी विल सी इन डिटेल वन बाय वन बट दिस वन इज अ वेरी बेसिक लेक्चर वी विल गो वी विल लर्न मेनी थिंग्स इन अपकमिंग पार्ट बट दिस आर सम ऑफ द मशीन्स वी वर विच मीन्स आई वेंट टू गिव यू सम इंटर अबाउट दिस मशीनरीज इन अवर ब्रांचेस इन अवर एग्जीक्यूशन Uh, which are which are very useful in execution so first of all grader is there then after that excavator is there after that roller is there uh, transit mixer is there backhoe and paver and dumper is there okay so these are all machines which we are going to uh, uh so which you are going to able to um get yeah i am going to uh, i don't know your name but i am going to cover i am going to cover your highway syllabus today okay i will also deal with some other part of some basic part of structure also if you will have time so time is constant over here we will uh, we will manage uh, to learn about highway about tunnel also i will tell you some after that <coughs> uh so the first one is grader so what is the function of grader um we, i will go next uh, so this slide tells you everything about it uh, so this one is the mold board okay uh, so what is the function of this mold board uh, this mold board is one of the important part of uh, the grader which is only responsible for you know grading the particular amount of soil or murum or gsb whatever it is so uh, this what does this mold board does this mold board gives the first of all it uh, places everything every murum on place to place after that it also gives the um, uh, it also uh, you know as gives the camber to the road okay after that according and it also goes as per the operator as per operators Uh, so you will see some of the joysticks uh, over here so what is this joysticks does this joy uh, this joysticks is on, by uh, you know uh, by playing with the joystick one can be able to uh, <clears throat> uh, one one will be able to uh, move this uh, mold board from one uh, according to the use okay jaise ki aapka jo ek minute hai main aapko drawing karke batata hu so so jaise ki aap abhi एक रोड पे हो ठीक है आपको एक रोड बनाना है जैसे कि अभी ये आपने डंपिंग करके रखी है ठीक है ये आपकी डंपिंग से सारे सो व्हाट डज दिस ग्रेडर डू ग्रेडर है आपका पूरा का पूरा एक लेवल में ऐसा पूरा फैला लेगा तो ऐसा कैसे फैलाएंगे बाय द मींस ऑफ मोल बोर्ड अभी अगर इसको हम लोग ऐसे क्रॉस सेक्शन में देखेंगे ठीक है इसको हम कैसे दिखेंगे ऐसे क्रॉस सेक्शन में देखेंगे सो so, ये कैसा दिखेगा मैं आपको इसका व्यू इधर दिखाता हूँ ठीक है सो so, अभी पहले तो ऐसे लम्ब्स थे ठीक है ऐसे लम्ब्स थे अभी क्या हो गया अभी हमारा समझ लीजिए केम्बर है वो केम्बर के हिसाब से अगर समझ लीजिए हम लोगों ने आ, अभी आपका ग्रेडर आया और ग्रेडर का केम्बर के केम्बर के हिसाब से उसने ऐसा ग्रेडिंग किया ठीक है ये जो रेड लाइन आपको दिख रही है वो कैसे परफॉर्म करेंगे बाय द मीन्स ऑफ मोल बोर्ड ऑल दिस एक्चुअली दिस वन इज अ डेमो सेशन रिगार्डिंग हाईवे दैट्स वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट दैट्स वाई एम या या मिस्टर रजनीश आई नो यू आई नो यू स्टिल यू कैन लर्न ओके स्टिल यू कैन लर्न दिस इज अ डेमो सेशन ओनली ओके सो दिस वन सो
ठीक है सो ये इन ये सॉइल पार्टिकल्स अभी कैसे दिख रहे हैं आपको डिस्क्रिटेड स्ट्रक्चर से ठीक है ये एक जगह पे इनमें से बहुत सारे वॉइड्स है ठीक है एक एक मेक के पास एक मेक के साथ कनेक्टेड तो है लेकिन एयर वॉइड्स बहुत ज्यादा है ठीक है अब आपको एयर वॉइड्स कौन सी दिख रही है किधर किधर दिख रही है ये आपको एयर ये जो है ना ये पूरा एयर वॉइड्स है ठीक है ये एयर वॉइड्स है सो so, अभी समझ लीजिए आपका डायनेमिक रोलर है आपका सॉरी स्टैटिक रोलर है स्टैटिक रोलर क्या करता है सिर्फ डेड लोड में डालता है ठीक है ये क्या करता है सिर्फ डेड लोड डेड लोड की वजह से क्या होता है आपका ये जो सॉइल पार्टिकल से डेड लोड लाने की वजह से ये नीचे सेटल होता है ठीक है ये कैसे होगा फिर ये सेटल कैसे होगा ये इधर आएगा ठीक है ये वाला सॉइल पार्टिकल इधर आया ये वाला इधर आ गया ये एक मेक की जगह बना लेंगे ठीक है तो अभी इसके बाद और कौन सा आ गया ये आ गया ठीक है ये इधर आ गया सो so, ये डेड लोड की वजह से देखो अभी जहां आपका सॉइल मास इतनी बड़ी जगह में था अभी वो इतनी कम जगह में आ गया ठीक है अभी इसको अगर आपको टैकल अभी अभी ये मतलब क्या हो गया डेड लोड बढ़ाने की वजह से आपका सॉइल पार्टिकल सॉइल मास जो है एक जगह पे कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड हो गया अभी एक जगह है अपना वाइब्रेटरी रोलर वाइब्रेटरी रोलर क्या करता है ये डेड लोड तो देता ही है लेकिन वाइब्रेशन भी देता है ठीक है वाइब्रेशन भी देता है कुछ इस तरह से ठीक है सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वाइब्रेशन ये जो है ये सॉइल पार्टिकल ऐसे मूव करते 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 अपनी जगह पे आ जाते हैं पूरे और इसके वजह से क्या होता है जैसे ही सॉइल पार्टिकल्स एक जग, अपनी जगह पे मूव करते करते आएंगे तो जितनी एयर गैप ये हमारे स्टैटिक रोलर में रह रही थी उससे कम एयर बैग एयर गैप एयर वर्ड्स इसमें रहेंगे ठीक है सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ वाइब्रेटरी रोलर एंड स्टैटिक रोलर ठीक है सो so, कभी भी ध्यान में रखना डायनेमिक रोलर में आपको डायनेमिक रोलर जो है वो आपको हमेशा वाइब्रेशन के साथ साथ डेड लोड भी इंसर्ट करेगा और स्टैटिक रोलर जो है आपका सिर्फ डेड लोड इंसर्ट करेगा ठीक है सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन डायनेमिक रोलर एंड ठीक है सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन डायनेमिक रोलर एंड स्टैटिक रोलर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी अवर नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज ट्रांजिट मिक्सर what is this what is this transit mixer is called transit mixer is nothing but the uh, machine which is used to transport one uh, your concrete from one place to another samajh lijiye abhi kya hota hai hamare site pe concrete banta hai kabhi kabhi theek hai site pe concrete banta hai aur uske baad site pe hi hum log usko use kar dete hain lekin ye kab hoga jab quantity bahut kam hongi abhi jo bade bade structures rehte hain bade bade bridges rehte hain usme ye possible nahi hota hai site pe banana इसके लिए इसके लिए कॉन्ट्रेक्टर या कोई भी फॉर्म क्या करती है उसका एक प्लान की जगह खरीद लेती है वो प्लान पे सारा का सारा रॉ मटेरियल डाल देती है बल्कर्स लेती है बल्कर से सीमेंट आ जाता है और उधर के उधर ही रेडी मिक्स को कॉन्क्रीट बनाना पड़, बनाया पड़ता है ठीक है और वो किसी तरह एक सर्टन डिस्टेंस पे रहता है वो रेडी मिक्स कॉन्क्रीट आपका इस ट्रांजिट मिक्सर में आके ये एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाता है अभी आप बोलोगे ये हम लोग एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जगह लेके जाना है तो फिर डंपर यूज क्यों नहीं कर रहे डंपर का भी तो इस्तेमाल हो सकता है ना लेकिन ट्रांजिट मिक्सर ही क्यों द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन ट्रांजिट मिक्सर एंड योर डंपर इज डंपर में आप कंक्रीट को अगर लेके जाओगे तो वो सेटल हो जाएगा क्यों क्योंकि वो कॉन्क्रीट को अपने आप से ऐसा मूव नहीं करता है ठीक है लेकिन टू कॉन्क्रीट को हिलाते नहीं रहता है कंक्रीट को एक जगह पे स्टेबल करने रहता है इसकी वजह से कंक्रीट जो उसका सेटिंग इनिशियल सेटिंग टाइम रहता है थर्टी मिनट्स उससे ज्यादा जगह समय से अगर आप लोगों ने उस कंक्रीट को रख दिया तो कंक्रीट इनिशियली सेट हो जाता है लेकिन ट्रांजिट मिक्सर क्या करता है ये जो आपको ड्रम दिख रहा है ये ड्रम आपका वो रोटेट करता है वो रोटेट कैसा करता है फ्रॉम वन एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पे काउंटर क्लॉक एंड क्लॉक वाइज वेज ठीक है so because of this because of this counter clockwise uh, rotation or clockwise rotation of this dumper uh, of this transit mixer uh, the the concrete does not sets theek hai so setting na hone ke wajah se hamara concrete fresh ka fresh hi rehta hai theek hai aur aap usko ek ek ghante ke baad bhi istemal kar sakte ho waise acceptable time um, uh, acceptable time kitna rehta hai from plant to site only 3 hours theek hai 3 hours ke zyada aap logo ko usko ये नहीं कर, कर सकते हो ठीक है सो तीन घंटे के बाद अगर आप लोग ट्रांजिट मिक्सर में तीन घंटे के 
ज़्यादा समय भी आप उसको घुमाते रहोगे तो ऐसा हो सकता है कि उसमें एरर हमारा कॉन्क्रीट थोड़ा सा कुछ ना कुछ परसेंट में सेट हो या उसमें पानी की मात्रा कम हो जाए ठीक है तो आपको उसको एडमिक्सर वगैरह डाल के उसको वापस से ट्रीटमेंट देनी पड़ती है या श्योर आई कैन ऑल्सो टीच इन इंग्लिश यस यस सो सो दिस इज द ट्रांसिट मिक्सर आफ्टर दैट दिस वन इज बैक हो एवरी वन कॉल्स इट एट जे सी बी बट आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर यू आई वॉन्ट टू मेक यू क्लियर दैट द the jcb is the company who manufactures the backhoe back uh, just like the company of caterpillar uh, making jcb just like biscuits okay uh, there are various brands who make biscuits like britannia is there parleyji is there okay um, uh, that is itc is there after that parleyji is there there are these are the brands who makes biscuits okay but um, after that but uh, the same like this uh, the jcb is not the backhoe is the product which is made by the company called jcb which is also made by the company called caterpillar but uh, due to the over use of uh, this um, the com the jcb uh, the the jcb company manufactures a lot amount of uh, backhoes uh, and in india it is quite famous that's why uh this machine is very much famous for uh, uh by the name of jcb instead of backo but uh, in technical terms we call it as backo okay the front one you can see over here is loader okay the front one which you can see over here is loader and the back one which you have seen here is bucket okay bucket is used for both excavation loader you can uh, spread your grains of materials everything whatever you can do you can spread and you can uh clear and you know that cleaning and grubbing so you can uh, do by the means of backhoe okay so after that for bituminous works uh, this machine is used which is called as paver machine what does this paver machine does you can see the receiver over one from one end okay uh, so what happens this dumper um, um transports um the bc this material uh, bituminous concrete material from one place to from hot mix plant to site and after that it dumps that material into this receiver this hopper and this hopper generally transfers this material from this place to uh, the this system you can see this track okay so after that it goes on after that it uh, spreads that particular material we can see over here so this one is a hauler after that these are the two ones um, by this make by the mechanism uh, by the paver track when the uh, the concrete gets transferred from one place to another after that and this one is the handrails okay you can see from here this one is the handrails okay and after that screen adjustment is there which you can see over here various mechanism various wires you can see over here these are the screen arrangements okay after that this one is the vibrator assembly just like your dynamic roller uh, this paper machine also uh, you know makes uh, you know um, vibrates it compacts that particular bc by vibration and by dead load also so this is the main reason after that this one the screed uh, this screed can move from uh, one suppose the road which you want to construct is of 7 meter wide and you are uh, and then uh, but initially this um, screen adjustment is just for 6 meter simply by uh, moving the joystick over here one can adjust this screen and make it up to 7 meter okay so width of road uh, if you want to increase the width of road just just simply uh, move your joystick for the screen adjustment uh, you can adjust your screen by moving the joystick which is placed over here okay so this is this one is the main screen okay which is responsible for spreading our bc after that this one is rear screen and this one is burner assembly so basically whenever your dumper uh, whenever your uh, bc material or the bituminous material uh, you know uh, goes over here it becomes very much cooler but as per irc irc norms uh, the there is specific temperature of particular or various grades of concrete or various grades of bituminous concrete uh, just like vg30 vg40 are there uh, 
uh, widget 20 are there, is there uh, similarly the temperature differences are there so amount of heat which is required for the laying amount of heat which is required for rolling so because of that you have to provide the heat to the particular uh, um, concrete bituminous concrete so this burner assembly does the work for that it continuously heats up the bituminous concrete and because of that you can simply uh, add that particular you can simply make this particular thing go uh, um, or you can just um, make the paver machine or oh, this is the way the paver machine works okay after that this one is a dumper as i told you earlier it's it was now nowadays you can see just like this this is the hydraulic pipe because of this hydraulic pipe one can make simply uh, one can simply do uh, the uh, one can simply dump the material uh, directly instead of you know spreading it from one place to another after that uh, we will move on highway session we can see types of real layers over here subgrade is there gsb is there wet mix is there prime code is there after that dbm and tech code and bc is there okay we will go here one by one so on the left side on the left part of the screen you can see the flex uh, rigid pavement and on the right part of the screen you can see flexible pavement what is the difference between flexible and rigid pavement rigid pavement um, deals with com cement concrete slabs and slab action is performed okay uh, the slab performs and the slab transfers the load or typically from on every part of the uh, land but what does this uh, flexible this um, flexible pavement does it performs the load by grain to grain action and material which is used for flexible pavement is bituminous concrete okay let us make it very clear this one is subgrade this one is subgrade uh, subgrade uh, what is the function of subgrade uh, so how one can build a subgrade subgrade material is chosen from quarry having cbr what is cbr value cbr is nothing but california bearing ratio uh, who performs it california bearing ratio quality analyst uh, makes the survey uh, brings up the material from the quarry test it and if the cbr value of the particular material is greater than what is required then the qa approves it and he can use it for and then the execution engineer can use it during uh, our highway construction okay so here you can see the this one is a subgrade okay this one is subgrade layer or this one is a subgrade layer uh, which is also known as uh, one of the layer which is used for the foundation okay foundation layer is this is called a subgrade so one can simply what happens murum is laid in equal layers by the means laid in equal layers by the means of grader okay general thickness of subgrade may vary but it is exactly but it is you know 500 mm the thickness of uh, subgrade is always 500 mm but it is not practically possible to compact the amount of 500 mm of uh, layer of 500 mm of layer so what simply does what simply our is code tells and the thickness of layers it bifurcates the thickness okay just like 150 mm 150 mm and 200 mm okay so uh, because of that uh, what happens first layer uh, room is laid by grader uh, compaction is done by vibratory compactor second layer room is done by grader vibration is done by comp uh, second um, by vibratory compactor and third layer by um, the grader is um, the room is laid and vibration is done by uh, your vibratory compactor but uh, how will you decide that the vibration which is provided by the vibratory roller is quite enough or not for that we use the test called as field dry density okay we will learn this one by one in very typical format field dry density or fdd what is what does that means the density of the soil or the morum which is acquired on field okay and how do you compare the compaction the field dry density of the field dry density of the which is acquired on site or which is simply acquired on field upon the maximum dry density which is acquired on our lab okay so whenever you um, make this ratio uh, the compaction factor arises okay so how is compaction factor now you can see compaction to be achieved is more than 95 percent means if you have if you are having the field dry density uh, maximum dry density of 20 
um, and if you are having the maximum and uh, field dry density of 19 okay so 19 upon 20 is equal to whatever it is 95 percent okay so if 95 percent if the field dry density is greater than 19 then your soil layer is compacted enough compacted and you can pass that layer but if it is 18 then this is less than 90 which which means it needs more compaction and because of that you can simply uh, make the passes of your vibratory loader couple of times and you can again check it uh, so in the same way you have to compact it you have to remove the air voids as many as as much as possible okay after that what is this this is uh, zoom uh, this is gsb okay granular subbase this what does what does it granular subbase constrain this is nothing but the rock which is obtained from quarry it is um, graded in like the way that the maximum aggregate size is 53 mm and um, it and minimum size you can go beyond below 75 micron cu okay so from 70 microns to 53 mm your gsb material works gsb is laid as per design which is laid which is generally ranging from 200 mm to 350 mm okay it designs as per the plates okay the plates are arised uh, and the plates are how the plates are decided um the by using uh, by designing the road by amount of the million standard axle uh, the, the road is designed so these plates are decided okay after that the gsb is laid as per after that the thickness of gsb is confirmed okay so what is the uh, alternate name of layer no, name of layer of gsb anyone can tell can anyone tell me alternate name of gsb anyone what type of layer what is the main function of gsb anyone knows what type of layer do you call as gsb no this is also called as a drainage layer okay what is so what is the function of drainage layer? it simply passes the water it is um it simply passes the water from one place to from one point to another okay Be below that it there is subgrade layer and you will not allow your water to go into subgrade uh if if it is okay because uh, when it whenever it will touch subgrade it there is a quite possibility of settling of subgrade okay uh, the soil will get the soil breathes and because of the breathing action uh the many potholes will create on the uh, on the road okay yeah granular subbase is the name yeah compacted by using vibrated roller same action is there uh, the you know uh, what happens the quality analyst go to the quarry he defines the rock he makes the various amount of test after that testing he, he grades the particular soil uh, how much quantity and how much the granular subbase is um, graded the by the as per the grade one grade two of uh, is codes after that grading uh, the thickness dip, uh, after it is compacted um, after that grading if the layer is passed then it is laid over the subgrade finished subgrade layer and after the layer, leading, laying over finished subgrade layer this one it is compacted uh, by swim by vibrator roller and uh, compaction which is achieved should be more than 98 percent of mdd the same way i have told you about the subgrades the same way you have to perform your test for gsb2 okay uh, that is fdd field dry density you can achieve the compaction this one is the black and white photo you can see the gsb which is laid over here and also the compaction is done by vibratory roller this front drum uh, the vibratory action is done on this front drum and this one are the two uh, brier tires and this one is the white marking which one maybe is used for our bc work okay so after that the another layer comes known as wet mix macadam or wmm so uh, what is the wet mix macadam or wmm wmm is nothing but it provides the firm foundation for our bc layer okay after that um that after wmm which layer comes the dbm or dense bituminous macadam layer comes so what does wmm comprises of wmm comprises of um materials aggregates ranging from 6 mm okay 
um, aggregates may be ranging from 6 mm 10 mm 20 mm and 40 mm sizes okay so it depends on the design okay uh, how much quantity you have to uh, made for make for wmm and crush sand with water uh, also it allows crush sand as i have told you earlier 6 mm uh, with water in proportion as per designs okay thickness of wmm generally ranges up uh, you can see everywhere which is 250 mm thickness of layers to be executed uh, simply just like subgrade one cannot compact the 250 mm layer so we can Split it in a half, and we have to lay it. Lay lay the 125 mm first, and after that we have to lay the 125 mm on the second layer. Each layer is compacted by vibrator roller until it gets compacted as per the requirement. Okay, uh, by simply uh, having the compaction, making compaction more than 95 percent, 98 percent of the MDD. Please make it clear for GSB and wet mix mechanism. You have to make the compaction more than 98 percent of MDD. This one is the MD, WMM layer. Okay. After that, this one is the prime coat. Uh, so, as I have told you earlier, after WMM, there is bituminous work. And what is the function of prime coat? It provides the bond between WMM and DBM or dense bituminous mix, uh, which is spread over WMM. And what is frequency? 6 kg of prime coat per 10 square meter area. This one is a general frequency on which you can provide the prime code this one is the doozer um, so the, because of these boozers uh, on the this is this one is the various nozzles which are provided over here and in that nozzles uh, the from the tank the uh, the bitumen comes okay this prime code comes and this simply uh, is added over the uh, spread over the wmm layer so what does what is this uh, function of prime code as i told you and how is prime code made prime code is made just by just like bitumen prime code is also made by um, you know uh, the which is nothing but the byproduct of petroleum which is byproduct in petroleum making process okay so this one is the prime code after that we will go for dbm once your prime code layer is arrived uh, you have to perform a dbm aggregates of 10 mm how much what is the composition 10 mm 20 mm and 6 mm size of aggregate is mixed with the bitumen uh, of 4.5 to 5 percent of volume as per design okay uh, so simply you can achieve your uh, dbm from 4.5 to 5 percent of the uh, bituminous percentage uh, to aggregate okay so if you are using the 100 m cube of uh, you know you uh, uh, are <clears throat> uh, 100 m cube of dbm you are using then in that dbm 95.5 kg 95.5 m cube is aggregate and 4.5 m cube is of dbm okay the same 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 simply this one uh well no we cannot apply the prime coat on rcc road but you can apply a tag coat we will deal with it later on you cannot apply your prime coat on rcc road okay prime coat is not uh, suitable for rcc roads but also not also tag coat but only if uh, you have you are providing your bc layer over above the rcc road okay that is our pqc road okay then only we can apply the prime uh, tag code not only not the prime code okay as you can see uh, prime the density of prime code is much higher than that of a uh, tag code okay uh, why it is higher why the prime code is thicker than that of tag code because time prime code uh, allows you to because what what happens uh, prime code uh, as you know the wet mix bottom layer is wet mix so prime code um, fill is get filled the voids the air voids get filled by the prime coat okay uh, so the air voids are quite much bigger uh, therefore the prime coat is applied is much more thicker okay to fill up the total voids like this only after that we have a dbm uh, just like how can you can perform dbm by means of paper machine okay and your pneumatic tire roller or tandem roller okay after that um after that the, another one is the, you can see this side or actual side photo of dbm you can simply see this is the this one is wet mix layer okay which is performed 
and this one are the tandem rollers which are being executed which are in execution right now tech code is there application spread over dbm frequency is 4 kg per 10 meter square area immediately laid before laying of bc and what is the use bonding between dbm and which is used for dubbing, dubbing bonding between dbm and bc so what is bc composition aggregates of 10 mm and 6 mm size with bitumen content of 5.4 percent as per design okay and what is the application laid by paper machine with the use of level strings as per frl so as i told you earlier track code is quite much thinner than that of is well less much um, is having low density as that of your prime code because tech code uh, is used for bonding between dbm and bc which are having very minimum amount of noise so just for bonding and just for your tech code to get fixed in the total in the both of the voids of dbm and bc uh, the density of the tech code is very much we or you can say the viscosity not density the viscosity of tech code is much more less after that this one is bc composition aggregates of 10 mm and 6 mm size of bitumen is added in 5% uh, 5.4% 5 to 5.4% as per design and it is also laid by paper machine with the use of level of frl okay uh, so this one was the quite uh, little bit introduction about our uh, you can say flexible payments okay after that we will have our chat about types of jobs okay so in, in construction industry you will get ample amount of jobs okay if you are having your talent if you are having your skills you will not you will be getting very much amount of jobs okay you will not get load about not getting a job for that you have to be your you your, you should have you should furnish your skills uh, as compared to modern life okay so modern techniques you must know everything about uh, civil engineering uh, about execution if you want to go to the highway sector you must know at least if you are a fresher you must know the basic things about highway engineer highway engineering sector so uh, these are the types of jobs one one is private sector and another one is government sector everyone knows how you have to apply for government sector you have to fill a form and you have you will get only you will only get a seat if you will get selected in the top 100 seats okay uh, so one, only 100 students of uh, 10000 to 1 lakh people gets selected in government sector and in private sector you, you will get a job simply by applying resume and by your skills what are the tests while execution yeah i will yeah there are various tests which are used during execution one of the important tests is as i have told you earlier uh fdd field dry density instead of that there are various tests like fsi is there okay free swelling index is there plasticity index simply shrinkage limits test which decides the shrinkage limits are there after that um, <clears throat> for bitumen there is bitumen extraction test okay for for dbm and bc laying there is bitumen extraction test in which you will get the exact amount of bitumen which is added in the uh, particular uh, mixture of dbm or bc after that for bitumen there are various tests like splash and fire point test viscosity test by after that um, cup and saucer test are there there are various tests okay ring ball test various tests are there uh yeah field compaction cbr cbr is also there but uh these are the one of the everyone knows about uh cbr and field compaction but this one are some of the minute tests about um the tests which are used in our daily civil engineering practice of highways okay so after that types of jobs uh, you will know how you can you know how to apply for private sector uh, for government sector but what is important to get a job in the private sector okay not in government sector you know government sector padhai kar lo job le lo theek hai padhai matlab bahut jyada padhai kar lo job le lo uh, it is not easy to get a government job in day to day life in daily life right now because it is very 
because the competition is very much higher in that field uh, so what so if you want to get if you want to you know uh, uh, pursue a career in private sector skills are important knowledge are also knowledge is also important as i told you earlier confidence is also important and connections so what type of connections is important what type of connection is there what is connection connections are nothing but how you will connect from one people to another one person to another and most more than that references okay mere chacha ka bhatija ke ladke ka beta ka pota abhi se engineering ho gaya hai to usko le lo okay so these are the references uh, 50% of jobs in civil engineering industry can get by references okay uh, so but after that how will you connect to your industries guru uh, you know in day to day life you will not get able to chance to meet with the ceo or the hr manager of uh, major companies like irb or lnt is there delhi bilcon is there ashoka is there uh, after that afcons is there you will not be able to get uh, you know you will not be able to meet them as a person but there is one connection called as linkedin one uh, you know social profile platform called as linkedin okay so linkedin uh, everyone deals in in linkedin in a professional form okay not in a social media form just like facebook there is linkedin difference between the both two is uh, facebook you will upload anything about yourself what you do what you do in every in every day or in every moment of your life okay and linkedin it deals in a professional platform okay how you will deal in a professional industry so this deals in a linkedin help to connect with everyone in in, in the industry okay you can connect with uh, the engineer you can connect with the supervisor you can connect with the operator and you can simply connect with the project manager or the ceo okay so this is the um, power of linkedin if you are not having the profile of linkedin what you have to do you have to create the account on linkedin and you have to connect with the people as much as you can okay improve your network and profile and start making connections okay so connection in the sense connections just like if you know uh, the ceo of the person just like i told you right now in england on a linkedin you know the who is the ceo and you can directly contact him you can directly apply you can directly you know send messages to him then you are uh, then uh, or you can have a chat with him just like your friends on facebook there is a connection in linkedin okay just like that anything much again you want to uh, okay is there anything you want to ask then you can ask is there any certificate given you please ask uh, the operations team regarding that okay i think you will get certificate you will get certificate for the particular one only after complete completing to yes sir complete after complete the course we will provide certificates yes no not the participants of this session this one is a demo session uh, our main session will start from uh, the operations operation team will tell you regarding that uh, this one was a demo session okay in our uh, our daily sessions uh, the complete package we will see the detail detail to detail uh, every minute details about our construction industry whether it may be the execution of structure execution of highways uh, how you can what is the uh, you know uh, the uh, what are what is that uh, algorithm of um, this what is the algorithm of uh, the industries uh, of the construction industry how you can reach over there after that various things regarding quality test more specifications i will 
teach you everything about the same okay this one was the demo session and after that the main session will start and i hope you will like that also thank you all for joining us thank you sir thank you all for joining the demo session thank you